What's up guys? This is Andrew Smursek with Combat or Training. Today we're going to be talking about different sling colors and the different sling options that we have. So first we're going to have a new color and we're going to talk about all the colors that are available and then the options as in the ways you can have your sling set up when it's sent to you. So first, new color, wolf gray. Looks super sick. Super excited about it. Um, Look for yourself, look how beautiful that is. And when you got that black on gray contrast going on, I just simply love the way that looks. Everyone I show it to, too, they really like it. So, uh, like this video because you like it also. All right, so that's Wolf Gray. Next, most popular one, generally this is with new shooters, they like um, black slings. So next most popular one is the black. Now you'll notice with all these slings, there's like a little dotted line that's actually on the black too. You just can't really probably tell that well, but if you can, then that's good. Can I angle my light a little bit better? All right, so you got that dotted line and black on black <clears throat> right there. Next most popular one would be the coyote slings. Coyote is right here. So that's what that looks like. Then we have the OD green, which I really like it because if you look at like the um, the old school gear that uh, special operations equipment, John Willis's company, the old school gear that he was making, a lot of it had that black on green uh, contrast to it, and I just like the way it looks. It looks old school, operator's fuck, and sexy. Now, the last option, which no one ever orders it, but I'll just show it to you because we still offer it. This is a version one sling. I made a long ass time ago, and it's still working. The version threes are way better, um, but we'll talk about those in a second. This is tan. So you can see here, uh, the rifle is painted in a very uh, tan way, <clears throat> and I just like the way the tan on tan looks like that. Um, I actually like the tan slings more than the coyote. Now I'll show you the difference in contrasting colors. Well, the difference in colors, not so much contrasting, but there's a difference in colors. Um, where you got coyote right here and tan right here. So I don't know, maybe you like the tan as well. If so, that kind of sucks because now I have to order a bunch of it, but that's cool too. Um, Again, remember that anytime something says it's back order only, that probably means I just haven't updated the website, okay? Uh, so we fulfill orders in the order of which they were received. Lots of times I got a bunch of slings sitting over there that are ready to ship. I just have been dealing with other stuff and I'm constantly sewing them and restocking my pile. So if you order a sling now and it says back order only, I might have 30 of them sitting right there, and I just have to mail it to you. Um, but if we don't have it done, we fulfill those orders in the order of which they were received. So just order your sling when you want it, and you'll get it faster. All right, now let's talk about sling options. First thing is just a standard sling, right? Uh, nothing added on. So again, uh, mill spec tubular nylon, right? All metal hardware, so every one of these triglides is metal. The handle is very simple. This part would be mounted to the gun. You would grab this part, the handle, move it back or move it forward to uh, back to loosen it and forward to tighten it. And that's it. Uh, simple, well-built sling. Uh, again, tubular uh, mil spec nylon, uh, all metal hardware, uh, bonded nylon, thread, the mill spec shit, um, two pieces of thread going through every stitch, and these are hand sewn here in Florida by me. Um, then, after that, there's an option to add a quick disconnect. Now, this strap right here is, um, let's see, what, uh, the total length from about this point right here to this point right here, about 18 inches so um just imagine you know because you have to put the tri-glide on and everything like that just imagine it adds about 16 inches of length now why a quick disconnect if you imagine 
This was on my rifle, right? <clears throat> and I became a casualty, and they needed to carry me, and I'm in all this pain, and they need to get my rifle off of me. Well, if I don't have that, then they have to move everything. They have to fuck with my sling, and maybe I've, you know, got an exit wound on my back. I don't want the sling dragging across that. A much easier way to get the rifle off of me is just to hit this button, disconnect, and then my rifle will be off of my body. And then also, uh, you can always think about maybe something crazy happened where you're um, fighting with a dude and he he's on your rifle and you're able to disconnect, shove him into the wall and then drive your pistol into his face or something, something crazy like that. Something totally John Wick, maybe. All right, so there's the standard sling, there's the quick disconnect. Now with these quick disconnects too, uh, that is a plastic buckle. Now it's not just a cheap plastic one, it's not the Chinese shit, this is a metal spec one, the fast tax one. Um, <clears throat> these work great, like I'm not worried about them breaking at all. Um, you know, I went to all the metal hardware just because people kept asking for it and I was like, all right, I will. Uh, and I should just listen to Jay Gibson from Tax Force Pop in the first place. But um, <clears throat> if you break this, just email, or excuse me, not email, but just mail us this and we will send a new one back to you. Um, we'll send both this and this part. <clears throat> but you don't have to send your whole sling. Just send that much of it to us and we will send it back to you repaired. That's not a big deal. <clears throat> All right, so standard quick disconnect and now we have got the two to one point. Now with the two to one point slings, we have an HK hook up at the front, all right? And then on the back, there's a D-ring that it connects to. Now from the front of the D-ring to right here, it measures 21 inches. The reason for that is if you have got a uh, hunting style shotgun stock or bull gun, whatever, I don't care. But if it's like the kind where the stock and the grip are one piece instead of having a pistol grip and then a butt stock, you can wrap this around that stock <clears throat> like this. Imagine the stock's inside that loop right there. And then bring it through here, put it back through the tri-glide so that at the end it looks like that. That's the way you should always use these tri-glides to make sure it's extra locked in place. And your stock's right there. If you have a bunch of excess hanging off, cut it. Sear it with a lighter so that the edges are black like that and it won't be fraying. <clears throat> and then you're able to mount it to that hunting style stock. Now, with that or whatever rifle you have it on, um, say you don't have it on that hunting stock, but it doesn't matter, it's the same thing. We have this HK hook up at the front and for me as a righty, it's going underneath my left arm. Now, I disconnect it from the front, bring it back here, I put it on this D-ring and there you go. I've got a one point sling. Again, if you um, are a big fan of QD mounts, which I am not, um, <clears throat> you can get the uh, Impact Weapons Components uh, two to one point sling mount. It's made for one inch slings and just <clears throat> slide that on to the back of your sling um, so that it's facing the correct direction, of course, um, inward and then put a QD on the front, make sure it's quality, make sure it's the right size and everything. Don't buy a piece of shit QDs, those literally rip right out. Um, don't cheap out on that. That's why I don't like QDs too, they're expensive. Um, but you put that on the front, un-QD it from your rifle, put it into that uh, piece and you're good to go. All right, now last sling option that we offer. I only do them for righties, um, but if you're a lefty and you want it made for you like that, um, we can do that. This is the fixed sock adapter, um, and like I said, for righties, it hangs off the right side of the sling. You see how when I'm standing here like this, the sling is coming off the right side, which keeps the gun tight to my body. All right. Now, if I need to switch shoulders like that, because it's coming off the right side, it's not choking me out, okay? And this thing is tamed down pretty well, so I swung my arm out of it, but let's look <clears throat> if it was around 
here still because I should have it sized correctly. Yep, sized correctly. I can still make that transition, switch hands if I want to, but it's coming off this side, so it's not choking me off. If it's coming off the other side, it would totally suck. You won't be able to breathe. It'll be miserable. Face will get red. Miss your shots. Embarrassing. Not looking cool on Instagram. We don't want that. Um, <clears throat> so if you want it coming off the left side, just email us and uh, we can make it. Or eventually you'll see it as an option on the website. I'm not doing it tonight though. And um, yeah, uh, I love these fix sock adapters. These actually have all, uh, again, uh, plastic, but it's the mil spec shit. Um, it's good. Plastic hardware, tri glide right there. So basically, you you would put you would put this loop on right here, and I got a video that shows how to do it on the stock back here. <clears throat> tighten it up, pull it super hard up this way. Then you take this tail on the bottom, feed it through that sling swivel right there, back through the tri glide. Now you can see we got it stitched down. Box stitch here, box stitch here, <clears throat> and that secures the um, the the sling to the stock like this. So then there's another tri glide right there, and this is why it has to be plastic too, is because if it were a metal one, it would slide all over. These ones have less space, so they can stay locked in place. Um, I tried it with the metal ones; it just it didn't work well. And then you just yeah, you put your sling on that part right there. Uh, if you order like a sling and a fixed stock adapter and all that stuff, I generally We'll just set it up for you so that when you get it, you just put the shit on your gun and you're ready to go. Um, <clears throat> but yeah, so that's a fixed sock adapter. Um, that works with M16A1 and uh, A2 style fixed socks. Um, anything else you can think of that has a sling swivel like that and it um, gets wider as it goes back, it should probably work for that too. So you can uh, try it out on that. Um, if it doesn't work, don't fucking return it. I don't. Uh, we're not going through all that over a uh, cheap fixed sock adapter. I'm not. I'm not dealing with it. Um, but yep. All right, guys. So those are the um, the different sling colors and options. Thank you, everyone, who's been ordering them. Um, very excited uh, to be bringing out the the version three sling and that wolf gray and also to be able to offer the two to one point conversion sling at a awesome price so yeah thanks for watching guys um take care please sign up for a class please make sure you're subscribed and sharing my videos liking all of them commenting on them i really appreciate that that drives up the views and i need that um yeah and hey take care keep fighting communism